Episode 87. This is all part of my plan. After the police left with Manny, Rudy, and Gary staring mournfully out the window of the squad car, the farce came to an end. The owners of the Midnight Snack Corner had finally proved their innocence. The criminals who harbored evil intentions were all punished. The crowd dispersed when they saw that the show was over. Before Anthony Kay left, he handed Aiden a set of keys. The shop on East Street has been tidied up. You can move in at any time. Aiden took the keys and thanked him calmly. Morris and Clara could hardly contain their excitement. In hushed voices, they began to discuss their plans for the future. Anthony K. watched them in amusement. Do I need to help you organize an opening ceremony? He asked Aiden. I can help you invite the big shots of the Bayside District business world. Aiden hesitated for a moment, but he still shook his head and declined. If he asked Anthony K. to help with the opening ceremony, he could save a lot of trouble. But this way, his shop would inevitably be branded with the K's imprint. Aiden didn't want to become indebted to anyone else. In the future, he would inevitably become independent. He wanted to rely on his own efforts to create a new life on East Street. Naturally, Anthony K. could not refute Aiden's idea of self-reliance, and the admiration in his eyes grew stronger. After Anthony K. left, the three members of the Dale family had a short meeting. In the end, they decided to officially move next Saturday. That night, Aiden lay in bed and went over the events of the past few days in his mind. From the moment he decided to deal with Rudy, he had executed every step of his plan himself. Although the process was a little tiring, Aiden felt a sense of accomplishment. He now understood that the true meaning of the Imperium Enhancing System was not to mechanically change data. It was to teach Aiden that as long as he worked to strengthen it, he would have the power to control his own fate. Ding! Perfect layout. Ability to set up an array. Plus one. Ding! Calculating everything. Planning ability. Plus one. Just as Aiden was about to drift off, there was an urgent knock at his door. Aiden, why is my phone ringing? He asked. Is it bad? Aiden took the phone from his father and examined it. After a few moments, he let out a sigh of relief. It's okay, he said, trying to comfort Morris. We have a lot of fans. Facebook page? Do we still have Facebook pages in our family? Morris scratched his head. Forget it, he said impatiently. I don't understand these things either. I'll just leave them to you, youngsters. Aiden got up from his bed and turned on the computer to check. As expected, the follower count on Midnight Snack Corner's Facebook page had increased to 5,000, and the number continued to increase as he looked at it. The number of comments was even more impressive. Some apologized for previous insults, some asked about the food sold by the restaurant, and some wanted to know Anthony K. In the past few days, Midnight Snack Corner had made a name for itself in the Bayside District. Everyone knew about this snack bar. Aiden looked at the increasing number of fans and suddenly had a thought. In the past, the Dales had always needed to be careful with money. Now, they would have the resources to expand the scale of their operation. Maybe they could consider launching an online ordering platform for the restaurant. With this thought, Aiden applied for an online shop for the Midnight Snack Corner's Facebook page. After the application was approved, customers would be able to purchase food directly through the Facebook page. Ding! Expanding the influence. Self-media operating ability, plus one. Ding! Additional platform. Food and beverage management ability, plus one. 